I'm going to show you how to make this next insert for your paper bag book so that your photos are archivally safe. Um, it's just a flip open and you can put your picture on both sides if you like so that way they are covered and safe. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this. First thing you want to do is you want to get two pieces of paper that are coordinating um, with the rest of your booklet, with the rest of your album and you're going to cut one, you're going to cut them both the same size widthwise. Um, lengthwise you want to cut one of them just a little bit shorter. It can be as short as you want, it's up to you. Um, what you're going to do on the one that is shorter is you're going to take your border punch and I like to turn it upside down so I can see where the edge of the paper is going. I want to put the edge of the paper on the very edge of the punch and then I'm going to slide it down oops sorry and do line it up again and punch hopefully it worked <laughs> okay so now the next thing you want to do is um, go ahead and attach them together now you're going to do it on the very top um, doo -doo -doo. actually what you want to do is go ahead and get, I'm using double sided tape um, and it's by Scotch, this stuff is really uh, very strong and it has, what is that, about a half an inch wide. Go ahead and lay that down on the very edge and I'm just a little short so I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit more tape and go corner to corner, edge to edge and just attach this at the very very top and you're going to go white to white so you're putting the back side so it looks like that okay next thing I want to do is I'm going to round the corners so I'm going to go ahead and get my corner rounder punch 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 and punch. Now you still want, you want to make sure that this opens up easily. So what I do is I eyeball a lot of things. So I'm going to use my bone folder and go about half an inch in and just fold this up. Just that simple. Okay. So there now it easily folds up. Now I want to ink this as well so I'm going to use white um, to edge or ink the edges and I open it up so that I don't get ink everywhere. Obviously if you use a different kind of ink it's going to get everywhere. But I like the effect that the white has with this paper. And then the back as well. I'm going to do in white. All right, and I kind of wanted to um, add a little something to it so that it's not so white inside. So I just grabbed my brown, and yes, it came off, but you just kind of do that just so that you have some kind of color. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is I need to put some stamps on here because I want it to have color or something. So I'm going to get my black ink and my flourish stamp and it can be anything you want but I like the flourish on it. And I want the flourish to kind of fall off the edge, just like that. And then my other flourish is going to fall off the edge at the top corner. Okay, just that simple. 
next thing I want to do is I want to put a flower in the center. So I'm going to get my flower stamp. I'm going to use my other brown ink. Oops, sorry about that. And I'm going to stamp it. Make sure that's on there nice, loaded up nicely. Now just to add a little extra dimension, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of the white and just lightly tap it on there so, not, so the entire stamp isn't covered. And then I'm going to line it up and just kind of put it on top but not exactly on top just to kind of give it a little bit of a silhouette type. And it's very, very light. But when you see it in person, it's actually very cool. Okay, so the next thing is I need to add my flower right here. But I'm going to emboss my flower first. So let's do that. I'm going to use my big old embossing pad um, and then just put the flower on it upside down and just push down on the flower. And I just want the petals. I don't want the rest of it. Not the center, just the petals. Okay. And then I'm going to sprinkle my embossing powder on top. Just kind of lather it in there. Alright, so your flower is covered, and I'm just going to get my tweezers, shake it off. That's the effect I get. Make sure you get it all off of there. Put that aside. I will put that back in my container in a moment. And now I'm going to use my heat gun, and I'm going to let it warm up a little bit before I put it down on the flower. And I'm just going to hold the flower down with my tweezers and go straight down on top. Nice silvery, glimmery effect. I'm going to grab my card again. Make sure that's nice and dry. I'm going to get my glue dot. Stick it to the back and on this flower stamp. On this stamp there was a, a rosebud at the top, so that's where I'm going to put this flower. I'm just going to put it on top of the rosebud so you don't see it. And then I'm going to get a button for the center. And there you go. Your insert is done. And again, you just put your photos in here on the inside. And you have a beautiful sparkly flower for a great insert for your book.